Get off your phone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi! Waka waka! <laughs> Just when you think that we couldn't build another coffee table, we're going to build another coffee table. But this one's super cute and it's got some great legs too. She's, She's got legs. legs. She knows how to use them. <laughs> All you need to build this modern hairpin coffee table is two two by six by eights, two two by four by eights, a scrap of one by six, four hairpin legs, some really cute corner hardware, stain, and some brushes. So we have already cut these two by sixes to five inches. We used our table saw to rip those down and you can check out our video on how to do that and make those yourself. All right, pocket holes are done and now we are ready to plank these six boards together. And we were just talking about how pretty this wood is. Uh, we picked wood that was like super knotty that oh. most people would probably throw in the burn pile, but it's gonna make a gorgeous table. We're lining up all six boards side by side and attaching them to each other using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Sometimes with this knotty wood, you'll get a knot that wants to come out. You can tap it out and then put a little wood glue on it and then put it right back in and it won't move. You know what my favorite thing about YouTube building days is? Lunch. <laughs> Lunch. I knew it was food, I knew it was about food. Snack attack. That's like, you're wrestling me. Snack 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 <laughs> if, I was a, if I was an MMA fighter, I would be I'd snack be... attack. <laughs> I'd have like a fanny pack with like all the snacks in it. Bread, some like Reese's Pieces in my pocket. Okay, we've got all the boards attached. Now it's time to frame around it. So we're gonna be adding two by four aprons to this and these aprons we have gone and cut down to three inches and all we're doing is going around the entire outside of the planks and we're attaching them using two and a half inch pocket hole screws. You can see on the corners that these are mitered at 45 degrees, that way we get that perfect crisp edge on each corner. So how much are the legs each? I found the legs for around $30 each. No. Total? A set of four legs, 30 bucks. Click the link below in the description box. And the two by fours and the two by sixes and the one plank, yep, that's under 20 bucks. And then the hardware, the little corner hardware, which is entirely optional, was another 20. So you can easily build this table $70. for under, under 80 bucks. Yeah, wow. easily with the cute hardware. If you go without the hardware, you could probably do it for under 50. 50 bucks, click the link. So here's a tip. I like to slide the tabletop edge off just a little bit so that I can feel how smooth it is underneath. And I kind of use my hand as a clamp while I'm attaching. Super smooth. Okay, so we have all of our planks together. We have our aprons on and now we're adding some, they're tip, I would say foot, foot pads, pads, but they're not foot pads. The leg pads, are they leg pads? I know, it's so hard because they look like a foot pad, but they're holding a leg, so. Leg pads. Yeah, we're gonna call them leg pads. We're attaching these leg pads using our drill and one and a half inch wood screws. We're gonna put one in each corner, that way we can attach a leg to each one. All right, so we're gonna slide these all the way into the corner. We love to use this type of screw, it's got a hex head, when we're attaching like casters or legs like this because it stops the screw from going in. All right, so we've got all four of our legs attached. Now we're gonna flip this bad boy over, sand it down real quick, and then give it a coat of stain. All right, so at this point, we've got the entire thing built and sanded, and we have actually mixed some stain together for this one, and we will link those stains to the, in the description box below. And literally, all you're doing is pouring half of each and mixing it with a little stir stick, and you're set to go. Why did you mix the stains together? Well, I knew I really loved the gray that I was getting on one of the stains, but I felt like this piece needed some more brown showing through. She's and just trying to show off. I was, you know, I was just showing a little shanty stain. So we should call this one shanty stain. So, Original shanty stain. That's right. This stain that we're using is a one coat quick dry stain. You do not need to use a preconditioner on it. Some of the stains, you do have to use a preconditioner, so make sure you read the labels. 
If you want some more detail on how we stain our wood, we actually have a video that we will link uh, somewhere up here and we'll add it in the description box below and it tells you exactly the processes we go through when we're staining. We've got this thing stained and now our favorite part is the, the hardware. hardware. We found this hardware online. We're going to link to it below. It just adds the perfect um, shanty touch. It adds the perfect shanty touch to this table. We love hardware because we like to say it's like putting jewelry on. It's like the jewelry of your piece. It's the icing on the cake. The cheese to your pizza. The butter to your bread. The peanut butter to your jelly. The milkshake to your Cheeto. The queso to your chips. The creamer to your coffee. The Wi-Fi to your hotspot. The Giphy to your text. The ice to your latte. Lauren's helping you in that. No, not she fair. didn't tell me that one. <laughs> the crouton to your salad. The blade to your saw. The bit to your drill. The glue to your eyelash. <laughs> all right, we've got all of our hardware on. And now you can see why this is a different coffee table than what we typically built. We had about an hour of work, spent under $80, and we have ourselves a perfect modern hairpin coffee table. This would work in so many spaces. I could see it like in a bedroom in front of a couch. Mm -hmm. And I know we say modern, but it's just like what we talked about. I think it's like the perfect blend of rustic and modern. So I really think it goes in so many styles. So if you haven't used like a modern piece of furniture in your house, I really think that if you have the rustic type furniture that we've built, that this would fit really well with it. I totally agree. And guys, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss any of these builds we have coming up. Roll them. Hi, she's Ashley. So click the links below. We're going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Excellent, Ashley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you'll want to unassemble everything you just assembled. <laughs> That's okay, too. You smell good, Ashley. I do? Yeah. Okay. She knows how to use it. All right, and that'll, that'll be our ending. Okay.